Hi everybody and welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video where we will be discussing the Hermes Click Clack H um, as well as the Hermes Click H bracelets. There's been many mixed reviews I feel on these bracelets um, but I wanted to tell you from my own personal experience with these. Um, some people have said that they've worn very badly and they looked really bad very quickly and that they were horrible quality. I don't know. I, I personally, um, my bracelets have worn very well. Um, there are some minor scratches on the metal, but that comes from wear and tear on any jewelry you wear pretty much. Um, However, I mean, I don't wear mine doing yard work or house cleaning or out hiking or working out. So mine have actually held up very well. Uh, I mean, Hermes is known for their, their quality on their items and they're very astute about making sure that their items are quality. I mean, these are all metal. Uh, they are either gold or palladium plated. Um, the enamel, which is hand painted on these, and then they are set in a kiln, and they do apply many layers to these to make sure that it has like this really nice luster to it. So I, I don't know. I, I really haven't had any issues um, even with the, with the latches, which by the way, these started out, um, well, the, the click clack bracelet started out in, in 2000. Um, I think it was 1976 that Hermes actually started doing enamel, but they were just called the H bracelet. But people who were purchasing them uh, started calling them the click clack bracelet. And that is because you hear the click and the clack. So the click H bracelet is actually these, the smaller ones right here. They are more narrow and um, they're just a smaller version. And these are the click H. The larger ones are the click clack H. And all their bracelets in these come in a, in a PM and a GM. PMs are usually seven and a half inches, but if you go on Hermes's website, you'll notice that some PMs are 6.7 inches. GMs are normally an eight. Um, so anyway, they come in they come in many different sizes. Um, I have to usually get their really small ones because my wrists are very small. Um, this one I actually purchased uh, pre-loved in a boutique in, in Florida and it's held up extremely well. I love it. This one um, came from the Real Real, also pre-loved great condition. This one I actually purchased in Nice, France. And I didn't have my glasses on at the time and I did not realize that the design on this bracelet is actually dogs. It is a really cool bracelet. I love, love, love this bracelet so much. Um, as for um, collecting these, I love them. I think they're very versatile. I think they're functional. They're easy and comfortable to wear. I don't like their bangles, really, because, again, my, my arms are very small, and the bangles usually are too big for my arms. And if it, if it slides over your hand... So I, I actually prefer these. I love these. Um, I would, however, say that... Uh, in the future, I get they come in like a hundred different colors. I may not buy more of the colored ones um, only because I have seen these replicated and knocked off ad nauseum and they're all over on, um, I don't know, all those websites that you can buy knockoff stuff. I've even seen them on Etsy. And they sell them for like $35. I don't know personally how the quality of them. Um, 
so I don't know, it kind of takes a little bit of that, I don't know, that sparkle from it, that zhuzh, now that you know that there's so many out there that are kind of knockoffs. I do, however, love uh, their designs on some of them, like uh, this one I have, which is actually the Le Quai, the Le Quai. My French is horrible. Um, this one is stunning. And this one, rather than an H, you just see it has this design right here, but it closes the same way. And this one has beautiful enamel design with the horses on it. This one I, I love as well. I got this one also on the Real Real. If you look on the pre-loved market, you can find these bracelets at decent uh, prices. I mean, you're not going to find them real cheap because they hold their value. There is like a cult following of these bracelets. So you will find them uh, less expensive. I believe right now these on Hermes are running about seven, seven sixty maybe. And these are around in the 600 range. So again, go in the pre-love market because that way, if it already has a few scratches on it, you're not gonna die and be devastated once you scratch your brand new bracelet that you paid so much money for. It already has a scratch, so it's no big deal. It's already broken in for you, so to speak. So, um, I, again, guys, I think they, um, I think they're great bracelets. Um, you know, they're not cheap, uh, but if you love Hermes, I think these are one of their better uh, items to get. They're going to wear a lot longer, but yeah, you have to kind of take care of them. I mean, don't be too rough with them and they'll last you a long time. And the other thing is you can, you can stack them together. You can wear multiples. They're very versatile in my opinion. So, um, anyway, guys, I, uh, I like them. I think they wear fine. And if you want to, uh, if you are on the fence about whether to get one or not, I hope this helps. Again, I'd probably maybe try to find ones with the design. I think they're really more unique and really have a lot more character to them. And they won't be knocking these off because it's going to be a lot harder for them to knock something like this off and more expensive than this. These are really easy. Whereas these, eh, not so much. So I hope that helped. Um, it making your decision on these and um, yeah that's it for now don't forget guys to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below whether you like these videos and I will um, share more of uh, Hermes items with you and until next time guys then I will talk to you later thanks bye